we shall reflect on the life of Saint Albert the Great. Albert Magnus, the eminent theologian, philosopher and scientist, was the eldest son of a military officer in Saubia, southern Germany. While a student at Padua, he joined the Dominican order. After completing his studies, he taught theology at various universities, especially at Cologne and Paris, where he had Thomas Aquinas as a pupil and recognized his genius. St. Albert's lectures were so popular in Paris that the university halls being unable to hold his listeners, he had to speak in the open marketplace. In 1254, Albert was elected provincial for Germany, but he gave up the post after two years to resume his studies. In 1260, he accepted at the Pope's command the bishopric of Regensburg, but resigned two years later and returned to lecturing and writing. From 1263 to 1264, as legate of Pope Urban IV, he preached the crusade throughout Germany and Bohemia. He was participating in the deliberations of the Council of Lyons in 1274 by order of the Pope when the news arrived that his intimate friend and his former pupil, St. Thomas Aquinas, had died on his way to the Council. By then, Age 71, Albert returned to Paris and vindicated the orthodoxy of his renowned disciple, some of whose doctrines had been condemned by the university. In the field of philosophy and theology, he was the forerunner of St. Thomas Aquinas in reconciling reason with orthodox faith in the so-called scholastic system by which our doctrines are scientifically set forth and defended. Indeed, it was by his knowledge and writings on the natural sciences that he exercised the greatest influence, leaving behind a veritable encyclopedia of sagacious observation and descriptions. In his personal life, Albert remained the humble Dominican. His numerous travels always were made on foot. He had a childlike faith and loved God and this he expressed in an attitude of tenderness towards the poor and the unfortunate. He died at Cologne on the 15th of November 1280, beatified by Pope Gregory XV in 1622, Albert was declared saint and doctor by Pope Pius XI on the 16th of December 1931.